what's up you too it's MacBook here uh, today I'm just going to show you how to get Google Chrome operating system Chromium uh, on your Mac or on Windows so this works on both I'm going to make the tutorial on Mac but uh, don't worry all your Windows users can follow this too so um, I'm going to um, so I'm going to show you how to download it how to get it and how to install it so let's get right into it well, for downloading and installing uh, Chromium or uh, Chrome operating system you'll need two things VirtualBox which works for Windows and Mac and um, Sunset um, I mean, some other stuff. Uh, so I'll show you. And as well, uh, you'll need um, booting or the Google Chrome operating system image. So I'll show you how to get those. Uh, so basically, first off, download VirtualBox. Uh, I'll put the link in the description to the right. Uh, so here for Windows users and here for Mac users. So Intel Max only also works for Linux, apparently, and some Solaris, Open Solaris host, apparently, as well. Um, so just download it here. Just click on Intel Max if you're a Mac user uh, and download that. Uh, make an install and get up to date and all that stuff. Then you want to go download here at GDGT. Uh, I'll put this link in the description too. Uh, the Chrome OS image. So I, I recommend downloading it from here. So if you get it from Tarn or uh, things like that, uh, there's a, there's a possibility that you don't actually get Chrome and you are getting some other uh, stuff. Or uh, it is possible that you do get Chrome, but uh, they might steal your Google account or things like that. So uh, I recommend highly getting it from here. So just go to this website. You'll need to log in. You can log in with your Facebook account. So just click on login and log in with your Facebook. Uh, does also work, or just create an account. So once you're on this page, uh, you just get VMware, the vir uh, VMware, but uh, it's also working with VirtualBox. Just click on that, and uh, it's going to download. So uh, normally, there you go. I'm sorry. Um, so. You click on there and then you just uh, download that, extract it, uh, it's probably in the zip folder and then you'll end up with something like this. So um, uh, right here, .vmdk, you need that and uh, normally the name should be Chrome OS and then 0.4.22.8. Uh, so yep, that should be it. So then once you have everything uh, in place, just launch up VirtualBox. So once you have VirtualBox uh, launched up here, so just click on new in the corner there. Um, a new pop-up will appear, click next. Then here you want to put the name of the OS, how you want to call it. And for operating system, you want to choose uh, Linux and then Ubuntu uh, as version. You can also try with FreeBSD, but I recommend Linux and Ubuntu. Uh, here for memory, the more you give it, the better it is. Uh, I'm going to give it, well, I'll give it at least a thousand megabytes. I'm going to give it 1.2. Uh, then next and click on use existing hard drive hard disk and check this on so you won't see Chrome here uh, so click on this little folder here um, and here you won't see anything normally so the Chrome I'm gonna remove it to show you how to get it there so uh, in this pop-up click on add and then choose the VMDK version uh, VMDK file you downloaded from GDGT uh, or gadget um, so you wanna click on that open it will appear in the list, uh, select that one and then hit select button once you have that be sure to have this selected uh, and then hit next so then you can see a little summary here of what you have uh, then you can just hit finish so once you have your virtual box you can just start it up actually uh, so just click on start there say ok and it's automatically going to resize, don't touch anything yet so as you see here it's going to resize, the screen is black uh, this can take from 10 seconds to two minutes uh, depends on your computer speed but after a while this will appear so uh, for me it's like not even 10 seconds uh, so it shouldn't take, take that long um, and the black screen sh uh, should stay there for 10 seconds so then here you're gonna come on the login screen so here you need a Gmail account uh, I'm not sure uh, for me I I'm just gonna tr uh, do with a I made a account specially for this because you never know if uh, there are problems and all that stuff maybe people can access the information so I'm just gonna do with mine so I just made um, um account for that so then it's automatically going to put gmail.com for you um, and then just put in your password I don't even remember it oh yeah and then um, if you have your mouse here in the black mouse of your Mac so uh, the mouse I have right now click on the screen first and then hit enter so then it should be signing in uh, you, if it says no internet connection that's normal um, you should be able to log in even with no internet connection uh, so yeah, once you have it uh, launched up, you basically are in Chrome OS. So Chrome OS is basically the browser, Google Chrome, very uh, well known, and uh, you have some other stuff here. So uh, this is basically the browser. 
and you can log in here if you go on this little tab and or you can click on this Chrome thing and you have to log in so you can click stay signed in or not uh, I'm just gonna log in with my actual account so uh, as you see it's kind of laggy sometimes um, you may have noticed so uh, yeah, I cannot. We c you cannot do anything about it. So because uh, Chromium is actually made to run on the solid state drive, so it can write very fast um, on the drive. So once you're logged in here, you have your Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, all your mail stuff, YouTube, uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook. If you want these kind of stuff, so you can just go on uh, YouTube here. Once you're gonna click on it, it's automatically gonna go on YouTube. You can create here. Uh, tabs uh, you cannot change the resolution yet and here in the in, uh, options I'm just going to show you about Chromium so as you see this is really Google Chrome operating system 4.0 um, so yeah just want to show you that uh, to be sure that is the good version so yeah there you go you're on YouTube and everything so yeah uh, that was it for me so I'm just gonna quit this. So that was it for me. Thanks for watching. Hope it all how it worked for you. Uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, uh, just comment down below. I'll try to answer them. Or if it's like uh, long questions, you can always send me a personal message. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.